Memorial Day commemorations start this weekend with folks across Metro Detroit honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid takes a look at some of the plans and how people will be remembering our nation's service members. From epic parades to firing up barbecues. Usually ribs, usually chicken. An American holiday with two different meanings. What are your plans for uh, marking Memorial Day? Uh, not remembering Memorial Day. It's going to be fun. Not remembering? Yep. Why is that? It's a party. But for Tracy, Memorial Day is personal and has a meaning of its own. The 54-year-old will be taking part in the Ingster Parade, remembering her father, who not only served as an army medic, but was also a prisoner of war. Of the POWs that were captured at that time, he was the only African-American. That's why for some families like London Bell, commemorating Memorial Day is about connecting with other military families. Gold Star families try to gather together um, because we often feel like people may not understand what this feels like. A Gold Star family status is given to the immediate family members of a fallen hero who died while serving in a time of conflict. London is Staff Sergeant Vincent James Bell's elder sister a Detroiter and a Marine. Vincent, just 30 days into his fifth tour, was killed in the line of duty. Very caring person. Um, he cared deeply about the Marines that he served with, and he, he made friends everywhere. And now every holiday, London's heart breaks seeing that empty chair at the dinner table. If there was a way to pass him a message, what would that message be? We love him very much. We're very, very proud of him for serving our nation, for following his calling. London says one honorable way to commemorate Memorial Day is to hold a moment of silence and call out all the names of fallen local service members. Reporting from Southfield, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.